Just the KSM foe. And I just jumped off the porch with dirty gloves. Grandma! I'm barely breathing. I'm barely breathing. Oh, she a teaser. Looking on fiend and hope it ain't easy. Hope it ain't easy. And she's coming. All right, so we got 74 off the porch with us today. How you feeling today, man? I'm good, bro. The last map in a time like this, you know what I mean? I'm happy to still be here. <laughs> yeah, shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, so you're an East Atlanta native, right? Yes, sir. Flat Show Road. Okay. Zone 6, man. Yeah. What was it like growing up over there? <sighs> Hectic. You know what I mean? Uh, you know? It's like every other hood, you know what I mean? Uh, niggas do this over here, folks doing this. Uh, it's a lot of ways to get in trouble out there, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But just making it out, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to stay focused where I'm at all the time. Has East Atlanta changed much over the years, or is it pretty much still the same? Nah. <laughs> same shit. Uh, same shit every day, honestly. Same old bullshit. Um, same folks ain't handling their business. Uh, pretty much, bro, like, you can just get trapped just with everyday shit. You know, either it's hustling the wrong way or, um, you know what I mean, caught up with the wrong folks, you know, all type of shit, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you when you first jumped off the porch? Shit. It had to be had to be about 13, 14. You know, 13, 14, you know, you're getting out of middle school, starting to enter high school and shit, and you know, you're really trying to get in that field. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're trying to see what's going on. You're trying to see shit, where the money is. You know what I mean? You know, you just and started that shit. Yeah. Do you have any uh, family members or big homies out there to kind of guide you when you jumped off the porch? I did. Um, one of my big homies, uh, you know, when I was like 14, 15, like, like me and the bros used to like just, you know what I mean, go over there because like he ran in Burt's, he ran in, uh, he ran in all type of shit. Like he ran in uh, just all type of shit, drop tops and, uh, old schools and all that shit. So that shit used to motivate us. So we like, shit, let's go see what he got going on. Hmm. Onto my tour weed. You know what I mean? We been on the door to see what he talking about. Hell yeah. yeah. So uh, talk to us about this incident where you got surrounded by 26 police officers. Is that right? 26, 26 if I could count. Hell yeah. <laughs> 26. So <clears throat> it was, um, had to be about four years ago, four, five years ago. Uh, my boy Heartless was like, yo, bro, uh, let me go back a little bit. It was after Christmas. So my boy Heartless was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I just got out. I'm finna come back to the hood, come fuck with you and shit. You know, I ain't seen you in a minute. I bet. So he come through. Long story short, me and the homies link up. Uh, we go smoke, you know what I mean? In our little area and shit. And, uh, I guess some, some lames called the police. Uh, you know, black man walking, you know what I mean? So, shit, we get to sit in the car and shit, you know, we talking and all that shit. And one of the bros in the back was like, bro, is that 12? Hmm. So we all look and like, it's a, it's like a task force, like, like they in a long line type shit. Like, <laughs> we like, damn, it's like, it felt like a movie, like, that's the shit that ain't, you know what I'm saying, really ain't never happened. So I'm like, shit, what the fuck? So we stuck. <laughs> we stuck and shit. And, um, shit, we ended up, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we ain't see what they were talking about. Hmm. They come on through and shit. Now, mind you, we got like two, three bags, like, at six, like, you know what I'm saying, 16, 15 year olds. So we like, damn. So. I knew I couldn't get in no more trouble, you know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? Shit. The homies either, you know what I mean? So we like, shit, let's see what they talking about. This, this shit put up, whatever. And they come and just had us at gunpoint, like, in the car. 
So we all like this. My boy dropped his wallet, talking about trying to get his wallet. And I'm like, bro, you touch that wallet, man. Like, it's over with for you, like, when we get out of this. That default's going to shoot. So they ended up searching us and all that, man. They got me and Ken in the car trying to talk to us about, uh, you know, my last name is African. So, they, so like, they playing around trying to, like, like, trying to figure out, like, how to pronounce it. And, you know what I'm saying? They pulling up my other bro's ID. Somebody, he looked like a feed, man. All that crazy shit. So I'm like, man, you know what I mean? Do your job, man. So, so shit. He ended up letting me go after like 30 minutes. Uh, he let Ken go and shit. And, uh, we get back in the car and everything. They start to ride out. They ain't give us no nothing. Like they really just harassed us for like 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> so shit. They like, all right, you know what I mean? Y'all good. You know, don't really, you know, try to be around here and shit. All right, cool. So we end up leaving. But before we leaving, like, ass 12 finna pull off. Like, my bro, like, yo, we had a beats case in the back seat. But we had some beats on the seat. So they not thinking to look in the beats box. <laughs> and that shit just sitting up under, like, the chair, like, plain view. So we like, ah, oh, damn. So... You know, that shit blew our hot instantly, and we went back to go smoke. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we was good, though, shit. By the grace of God, man. So, they didn't find anything. They didn't find shit, man. They just they just gave me a hard-ass time for 30 minutes to out. Oh, that's crazy right there. So, what would you say is one of the biggest life lessons you learned while growing up out there? Um, honestly, just stay out the way, man. Stay out the way and just, and just handle your business. Like, at that age, too, like, I started to lose friends. So, like, unfortunately, like, to just unnecessary, like, bullshit. So, I'm glad, like, I'm glad, like, people who are around me and shit, you know what I mean? Um. Just help me to, you know what I mean? Just stay grounded, you know what I mean? Stay in my own circle, you know what I mean? Don't, you know, I like don't really follow the crowd and all that shit. Cause like I said, like, it's too easy to get in bullshit. Mm -hmm. All right, so how long you been rapping now? Shit. Officially, we can say two years, but I was rapping before that, like four or five years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you started taking it serious about two years ago? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. About two years ago, I started like, really was like, okay, I got, I got something. I got a voice. You know what I mean? Everything that I was just recording for Play Play, like everybody was fucking with it. So I'm like, oh, I, you know, I ain't even showing y'all yet. Like, <laughs> we just getting started. Hell yeah. Who were some of your musical influences? Shit, you know, we, we looked up to Wayne back then. Um, Goo Up, obviously. Gucci was a big influence, you know what I'm saying? Um, T.I., Meek Mill, you know what I mean? Like, just listening to them guys and, like, just them pop they shit and just, like, you know what I mean? And just, like, just, like, just tell, like, just tell, like, just tell, like, a story of, like, just tell a story of, like, of just everyday life, you know what I mean? Like, that shit which is really making me, like, relate to it, like, on a different level. Like, I was just like, damn, like, these guys kind of do the same shit I do, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So how'd you get the name 74? I gave myself that name because, you know what I'm saying, being 25, like, I'm a young OG, you know what I mean? So, like, everybody who was, you know what I'm saying, around me and shit, like, I always tried to, like, not even God, but like, just try to steer everybody in the right way. You know what I mean? Like everybody, you know, knew I was the, you know what I'm saying? The dude would play, play ball and shit. And like, you know, somebody that like everybody else could look up to. So like, I'm like, shit, I've been in this hood way long enough. Like I was born here. You know what I mean? So it's just, it just in me. So I'm like, I'm 74. And that come from the martyr. Um, okay. Shit too. So everybody asked me all that. That ain't that. <laughs> that be getting some shit. People like, hey, you, you, you know what I mean? Nah. Shout out to them. 
And you dropped your first project last October, right? Last October. That was a 1074 mixtape. And that was like a, a homage to Gucci, right? Facts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, big facts. Like, uh, just the whole, like, what he did before, like, Brick Squad and, like, his whole 1017 movement back then. Like, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rowdy, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that man was like, that nigga was off the top. Like, I was like, damn. So, shit, me calling myself Sam Foe shit, I just, you know, kind of plugged it in together, see what I could do with it. And, uh, you know, I picked certain beats on that shit. Uh, shout out that boy DC. Um, I got certain beats and shit on there, you know what I mean? And that shit, like, just like, I took it kind of where he took it back then, like, in a dark place and kind of play with weird beats and shit like that. So, yeah. And that shit, now, really, like, it's a classic. I can say that. Like, statistic wise, everything, like, people talk about that tape to like this day. Hmm. So, I fuck with that. So, but Gucci has has blocked you on social media, is that right? Unfortunately, yeah, he blocked me. Uh huh. <laughs> what happened? What did you do? What'd you say? I don't know, man. Uh, I think I, uh, I think it's cause, really cause I said something about, I said something about one of his artists, but like it wanted to like really downplay him. I was just like, at the time, I was just feeling like, man, I'm feeling myself. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm going to say I'm harder anyway. You know what I mean? Like, don't, you know, I don't take it personally. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just my energy. So yeah. So I guess I said something, you know what I mean? And he got down, took it away. You know what I, mean? I don't know why. <laughs> Was it on a, a one of Gucci's posts that you had commented on? I believe so. He had just signed some money. And I was just like, you know, I could have kept it to myself, you feel me? But like, you know, I'm confidently arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Gucci though. I still fuck with him, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like I said, like he one of my favorite artists, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So Shout out Walk. <laughs> All right, talk to us about this new EP, Mind Games. Mind Games, that's that's my fourth tape. Um, fourth tape, less than a year. That shit, uh, like for me, like that tape is like more of like an illusion of like it's almost like an illusion that just in my thoughts. Like I think a lot, you know what I mean? And like what's going on today, what's what's been going on, like, just everyday shit that I just think about, like, it's just done, like, you know, I'm more of, like, an introvert. So I kind of try to base that side of my project, like, on that, like, kind of, kind of, like, give you an experience of, like, this illusion, almost, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain the artwork? It's pretty dope, man. There's a lot going on there, too. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's, um, my boy Scott Taylor, he, um, he an illustrator, um, he got down, you know, like, I started to pick up, like, his weird ideas. I don't want to call him weird, because, like, I like weird shit, you know what I mean? Like, if you could, like, think outside the box, like, I'm kind of interested. So, seeing him doing that, um, I'm just like, shit, you know, like, let me try to link with him, you know what I mean? Like, I think he can go far with this. Um, we kind of threw ideas at each other. I kind of um, just told him, like, yo, like, I want you to create, you know, but just like kind of go off of like just this illusion. Like, I don't think anything is going on. Like, it's a, I don't know, it's a crazy way to explain. Like, I feel like I'm in the matrix sometimes. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is just like, I don't know. Like, this is just an illusion. Like, really out of body. Like, this is like impossible. What's going on? Like, it's crazy. Mind games in my head. All right, so what's the single you're pushing off of Mind Games? Shit, right now, right playing around nigga on uh, the intro. You know, on the intro came. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that song to me is just like, pop it. You know what I mean? Pop it. My boy DC on the, um, another weird ass beat. You know what I mean? That nigga in my mind, you know what I'm saying? So, 
shit, I found that beat like just inspirational to just pop it, you know what I'm saying? Kind of have fun. So, and that's the one that's got the most response right now. So, okay. Yeah. Really on the way. There you go. Better. So, how'd you link up with DC? I've been knowing DC since high school. Okay. Yeah. Like when I first, um, when I first started going to Shambly, um, ninth grade and shit, you know, I had picked up, you know, I picked up with him and shit, you know, like go way back, like, so like skipping every day, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, you know, like back then I wasn't in the rapping at all. So, but I knew he was doing beats, you know, like I used to just hear from different friends and shit, like he did beats. So I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. That's something different that like, I ain't got too many, you know, partners that do that. So I'm like, okay, you know, and just being, you know, staying connected in high school, you know what I'm saying? That shit, uh, that shit took us to where we are today. Yeah. You mentioned this is your fourth project in less than a year. Yes, yeah, so Was that your plan to flood the? Flood the streets. Yeah. Flood the streets. <laughs> Hell yeah. I want to keep going, but, um, I'm at a nice pace right now. So, uh, it's just about work that it with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really wasn't planned either. You know, like, this whole shit wasn't planned. You know what I'm saying? It's just something I knew I was good at. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, just working. If a new listener is watching this interview, which project would you recommend them starting that? Would it be? Starting that? Yeah. You start wherever, honestly. But I mean, you start with the um, you start with the first take. You know what I'm saying? Getting started, um, getting started, just kind of um, just you know, just kind of getting everybody me. You know what I mean? Starting off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you go off of that. You can go off of any take, honestly. Um. It's all about growth and every tape show that. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing all this independently, right? All this independently, yeah. My own money, my own team, you know, like I am the CEO. <laughs> so um like all this shit is just like it's just like a sport to me. You know, like I said, like I play ball and shit, you know what I mean? So Whatever I feel like I'm good at, I'm going to go all the way with it. You know what I mean? So, What sports were you playing? Basketball. AAU. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, AAU balling, you know what I'm saying? High school a little bit. Yeah. Graves is fucked up, so you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That couldn't go too far. And then, you know, um, yeah, man, like, like that shit was everything. Basketball was everything. So like, I kind of put like that same mentality in the like art. So like, hmm. I'm just going with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still hoop at all? Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I ain't hooped in like, I ain't hooped in like maybe a year. Okay. But like, it's in me though. Like I played so much basketball. Like. So it's like that shit never really leave you anyway. But hey, that shit good cardio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need that <laughs> shit right now. Oh god. Do you have any thoughts on the NBA players that have been boycotting the, the last couple of days? I love the boycott, honestly. Um when Milwaukee did it, like, I didn't understand why, cause it's I'm like, maybe everybody don't follow through. I don't know. That's like my first instinct. So hmm. I'm thinking, I like, where do we go from there? Like, it has to be a plan. That's my first instinct. And, uh, you know, like, it was talks about them canceling the season and all that. And I'm like, canceling the season, like, that would have been big mm-hmm. if that would have happened. Like, fuck the money, fuck all that shit, you know what I mean? And just, let's, like, let's focus on the problem. And, I mean, I thought it was great. And I thought it was great that they wanted to play, too, because you're on the biggest stage right now. Oh, yeah. So, I feel like, I feel like, you know, just bringing more awareness while you on that stage in like a deeper way, you know, like they said, trying to get on, 
owners trying to talk to these liberals and all that type of stuff. Um, shit, I think that's a, I think that's a great way to start. You know what I mean? This shit not going, this shit not going to change tomorrow. You know what I mean? But if we start there, I think, I think you can go somewhere. Yeah. Real shit. All right, 74. What else are you working on? What's coming up next? Shit, video. I got you a video tomorrow. So yeah. I know it's supposed to rain and shit, but we thugging. Fuck it. Um, got a video tomorrow. Shit. I'm just working. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help my boys. You know what I'm saying? Push their music. Um, yeah, man. I'm just working, honestly. All right. Any shout outs before we get you out of here? Shout out Heartless, man. My right hand man. Shout out DC. My executive producer. Uh, shout out my manager. You know what I mean? Shout out Flat, man. Hey, yeah. Shout out all the folks that fuck with me. Because I fuck with y'all, man. From the bottom of my heart, folks. Y'all, let's go. I'm barely breathing. I'm barely breathing. Oh, she a teaser. Nigga, I'm fiending.